flat tire. Please hold while I transfer your call to the service center. Please leave your name, contact information, and the reason for your message. Someone will get back to you shortly. I was gonna have a cute little self-care day. I've been really craving the Bjorn corn. I don't know what the fuck they put in that shit, but ever since I had it for the first time a couple weeks ago, I've been craving it. I finished the bag in like one night. Today, I have nothing to do. All my fucking friends are in Europe feeling major FOMO and just like having a hard time. So I was gonna go to Erewhon, get a coffee, maybe go on a little hike. There's like a little farmer's market next to this Erewhon on Sundays. I was gonna go there, have a little walk, go outside, get my endorphins going, connect with nature, just like do things that I know will make me feel better. But of course, I literally get here, I'm parking and I get a flat tire. I had like an intuition that this was going to happen today. I'm in a two hour parking space, so I don't want to leave my car in case parking enforcement like does come. It's Sunday, so like everything is closed. I can't even like call a service to like come fix my tire for me. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going to use this vlog anymore. But also this is like real shit. <laughs> I don't really know what to do now because everything is closed. I'm gonna try to call AAA. Welcome to AAA Roadside Assistance. Please press zero to speak with a service representative. I you to the AAA. How may I help you today? Um, I have a flat tire. Okay, from with the year, make, model, and color of the vehicle. Are you in yeah. front of the residence? Yeah. We have up to seven miles of towing that we provided no charge. Should arrive by 2.14 p.m. Thank you so much. No problem. My pleasure. I want to have a great rest of your day. You too. AAA is going to come and tow the car, so we have to go there to meet the AAA guy once he takes this car. Love life. I'm loving life right now. I'm gonna go to Erewhon because they're not gonna be here for like 30 minutes. I wanna be able to at least do one thing that I fucking planned on doing today. And I'll check out the farmer's market, I guess, maybe. Fuck my hike though, I guess. I literally brought like a change of shoes and I potentially even wanted to go to Malibu and like lay on the beach, but it's so fucking cloudy. I didn't think I was gonna go to the beach, but I wanted to. And I brought my book too. I started a new book. I finished the creative act and I started this. I know this is not as much of a book as it is like, kind of like a course, like a... Like you write stuff, there's like activities and whatnot. Taking it to um, the closest place to get tires, which is like, it's like 2, 4, 4, 5 Santa Monica Boulevard or something. It's probably third party because there's like a seven mile limit on where I can get a car towed. Corn secure. Last time I just got the class. Hold up. Hello. Anyways, it's hot as fucking balls. Okay. Last time I just got the classic just to try her out. I remember my first impression was like, okay, this is kind of mid, whatever, it's fine. But then, like, the more I ate it, I literally just couldn't stop and I've been craving it ever fucking since. So, of course, we have to get the classic again. I also got two bags of spicy. I am a huge spice girl. I love spicy. If it can be spicy, I'm gonna choose a spicy option. Oh, yes! Yes! This 
This sucks. Mm. I wrote this for parking enforcement. We had to leave my car at a tire place overnight. Feel a bout of depression incoming. I felt it incoming already days ago, which is why I wanted to take action and go outside and get exercise and do things that I know would make me feel good. The fact that my attempt at self-care was interrupted by life essentially, shit happens is definitely making me feel worse. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up and do anything for the rest of the day. Uh, but I've been on a Cody Ko kick. I like was super into him when he first started getting big. And then I just kind of like, whatever, I just like fell out of watching his videos. But a couple days ago, one of his videos showed up on my homepage and it just like looked interesting. So I've just been, binging his videos like ever since it's been like a week he just gives me such a good laugh and i'm like yes what i need right now is a good fucking laugh <sighs> i feel really like stuck in life like i don't know what to do to change i feel like it's pretty common to feel like this in your mid-20s and whatever but i'm just like i don't know i also kind of feel like when i get i, f I whoa look at this a creamy curried base with seasonal veg on top a seriously good soup. Spring is a time. For I'm so days. hungry. <laughs> that looks so good. I've been really into Instagram Reels lately too, which is honestly, Instagram Reels is like, it's not, it doesn't hit the way TikTok hits, but I feel like it's, it's like a filtered version of TikTok and it's so much like healthier for my brain. Like definitely not healthy, but I feel like, Am I just talking out of my ass right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. At first, before the Instagram Reels algorithm started catering to my interests, because I just recently started using it instead of going on TikTok, it was like lovely. It was so positive. It was so like just wholesome. But now it's kind of toxic. What does that say about me though? But I, I mean the comments, the comments. I'm talking about the comments. I'm not talking about the content. It's the comments. Everybody has a problem with everything and it's so stressful to read. And it's like, just don't read the comments. But it's like, comments are like half of the entertainment of TikTok and Instagram. Comments scratch an itch in the brain when you're consuming media. Like sometimes I'll watch episodes on Netflix and I will wish there was a comment section so I could read the comment section, which is why I like Crunchyroll because, okay, I'm gonna weeb out for a second. If you don't know what Crunchyroll is, it's the platform where you can watch anime, anime streaming platform, and I'm a big anime girl. But anyways, Crunchyroll, you can comment on episodes and I like to read the comments, especially when something like spicy happens. I'm like, ooh, what the fuck are people saying? Mm -hmm. 